hi everyone it's Michelle welcome back so it is the middle of the month and I thought I would do my empties for you I try to do this about the middle of every month and I have gone through a boatload of skincare so I'm gonna jump right in and get started as you guys know I've talked about I've been really working on sort of my back stock of skincare and so I have used up quite a few products and I thought I would uh, tell you what I thought of them and we'll move on from there. So let's jump in and get started. The first one is just a body lotion. So I got the Jergens Ultra Healing Nourishes and Heals lotion. And I will say, I really like this lotion for winter time here. So this came, I bought this at like Sam's Club and it comes like in a two pack and then you got a smaller one of a different kind as well. So it was like a really, really good deal. Um, and I really like this. This says repairs for visibly healthier skin with illuminating hydrolucence blend. It has vitamin C, E, and B5, extra dry skin moisturizer. This worked wonders for me during the winter. I really, really enjoyed it. The smell is very um, soft. Yeah, it's just sort of, uh, there's not, there is a scent to it, but I just sort of a lotion-y scent. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but this really did work wonders for winter time for me. I loved it. I would totally buy it again if I could find it at Sam's Club again. Okay, I used up, I'm gonna be all over the place with this, so we're just gonna go with how they're laid out on my counter. Um, I used up my fresh black tea and black tea age delay instant infusion. So this is like a facial essence. You just put a little bit on your hands and press it into your skin like a toner. I really like this. This I think is the second bottle of this that I've used up. I really like this. It smells like tea and it's very hydrating on the skin. It's very soothing. So if you have skin that needs, you know, sort of soothing, this is a really nice one. And the price point is not too bad. Um, I'll list the price below. It's four ounces. These last me forever because you just literally, like I use two shakes. It has a little, um, it doesn't have, it has a little hole. You just do two, like two drops is enough to do all face, neck, chest. So loved that. Would we'll totally repurchase that. Um, I hear my girl rolling around back there. I'm not sure if you can see her or not, but that's what the noise is. She's rolling around on the carpet. Maggie is really, oh, here she's walking by. She's rolling around on the carpet. Okay. Uh, I had a trial size Skin Medica AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. Whoa, I don't know if that glare, if you're going to be able to see this. This was a trial size. Um, I really like this. I use this a couple times a week in the shower. It's supposed to be brightening. There's not enough of it here for me to tell you if it does what it says it's going to do. But it was a nice exfoliator. It's very light. There was some maybe microbeads in here. I'm not sure if there's microbeads. I will try and find out and list that here. It was a very gentle exfoliator, but AHA, BHA as well. Um, I enjoyed this very much. I can't tell you if it brightened or not because I didn't use it enough. There was not enough here for me to tell you that. But if you're looking for a brightening one, this might be one to try because it was really nice. Okay, I, I think I've talked about this before. I used up a TNS Illuminating Eye Cream. So this, I love the Skin Medica TNS Eye Repair but I don't like that it comes in a jar. So I tried the one, I think this is my second one of these that I've used up as well. I tried the one with the pump, which is just called the Illuminating Eye Cream, but it has the TNS growth factor in there. So I thought this would be good because I like that it comes with a pump. So I don't like this as much. It's not as hydrating. So if you find, if you've tried the other TNS and you think it's too heavy under your eyes for like wearing makeup over it and stuff. This is a much lighter version. Um, it was nice to use. I still prefer the other one, but this is really, really nice if you're looking for one with a pump. I don't know that I thought it was illuminating, but it made my eye skin look really nice. It was lightweight enough to put my makeup over it, that kind of thing. Loved it. I've talked about this a bunch of times. This is the Timeless 20% CE Ferulic Serum. I finished another one of these. I love this. I would definitely repurchase it. I'm trying something else right now, but this is a great product. I've gone through, I don't know, three or four of those. Um, I'm trying to go through my full size stuff because I have some sample size stuff. I used up a pack of Fosha uh, blotting papers. Lo I love these. Um, if you do not use blotting papers, give them a, go get a pack from wherever. You can get them anywhere, really. I love these Bosha green tea ones, but blot your face before you like touch up your powder. It's amazing what it, what 
blotting papers do for you and they're very inexpensive so love these these are my favorites these are my sort of holy grail the Bosha green team they just work really well uh, I think that's all of the full-size stuff that I used up so let's talk about some of the other things that I tried and what I thought the first thing is I, and I think this was a Sephora sample I think this is the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, what is the name what is the name doesn't say a new way to peel uh, basically these are peel pads that have a clinical dose hey 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 noodle come mags come on um, with a clinical dose of retinol for professional results at home and you just um, basically take it and you know at night you would use it after you cleansed your skin as a retinol treatment it had ferulic in it I can't believe the name is not on here and I didn't save the packs anyway it came with two of them I liked these very very much they made my skin feel really really uh, smooth so you kind of put it on and then let it dry and then you go on with your skincare I didn't find them to be too harsh and in the morning when I woke up I could definitely tell my skin was much much softer so I might consider buying these I would have to look up how expensive they are but I would consider buying these I think you're supposed to use it once a week I liked them very much I will get the name and I'll put it right here too because it doesn't have the name which is crazy anyway they were really good and speaking of pads that peel I also tried the Kane and Austin miracle pad 30% so this is uh, 30 like a 30% glycolic pad by Kane and Austin you can buy this brand at Sephora now I think that's where I got the sample from. I was nervous that it was 30% glycolic, but I, my skin did fine. So again, this is something that, you know, you just wash your face and then you would use this first. Um, it says to use it morning and evening. I don't know that I would use a 30% glycolic morning and evening every day. Um, but this, just like the Dr. Dennis Gross, made my skin feel really, really soft like after you used it and then you put your skincare on like and then overnight the next day my skin was so soft and smooth retinol or having some sort of um, acid peel you know exfoliating peel happening overnight really does make a huge difference so if you can find one of these that you like these again you can get at Sephora I actually am considering I'm trying to decide between buying those and buying these because I really they, they made a wow difference in how my skin felt in the morning. So, loved that. Okay, I used up, I got a sample of the Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. So, I got this size sample. So, what I will say, so this is a hydrating serum. So, you use it for just straight hydration uh, before your moisturizer. Um, here's what I will say. This definitely makes your skin feel softer and it plumps it a bit. If you look at the ingredients for this, it's mostly water and silicone and some glycerin. So I think for, from a, if you, this is, I think this gives you very temporary results. I don't think this is going to give you, is going to change your skin in an ongoing basis. But if it's wintertime or you're having one of those days where your skin needs help, and you, you're just looking for some hydration to plump things up and smooth things out, this would be a really nice product to use. Again, I don't think it's going to make a difference over time, but for days when or times of year when your skin is really parched, I think this is a really nice hydrating serum. Not anti-aging, but definitely hydrating. Um, I used a sample of the Caudalie Polyphenol Anti-Wrinkle Eye and Lip this thing lasted me forever I will say that for one this is a really nice eye cream um, I wish there was more sort of long-term benefits in here like a retinol or something like that but this definitely plumped the skin around my eyes and made them feel made that skin feel very very hydrated um, it was a little heavy I wouldn't I don't think I would use this during the day but it felt really good to put this on at night and in the morning my eyes were you know it didn't migrate into my eyes so I never got irritation I didn't get puffiness from it or anything like that but my skin was really really hydrated I did put it on my lip lines I don't think anything helps those but this is really nice so if you're a Caudalie fan try, try the polyphenol anti-wrinkle eye again I can't tell you if it's anti-wrinkle because I only tried a sample and lastly I tried to try the Lorac Cobra mascara I don't like this at all 
I, it just, the wand is like curved. I guess that's why it's called Cobra. Um, you see what happens to the tip? It gets this big ball of yuck on it that you got to try and clean off. I found this very heavy. Um, I, I did not like this mascara at all. Enough said. I would not purchase it. Did I get everything? I got everything. So those were my empties for the mental. Like I said, lots and lots of skincare. Um, I thought I would share all the samples that I've been trying as well because it's good, you know, then you can go get a sample for yourself and try them. Um, and I've been doing that quite a bit, so I will continue to share those with you. So that is it for this month. Um, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you again soon.